So, safe to say, Doc Jerry, that if, since simulation lang naman to, diba? This, this didn't actually happen, but you used basically machines and uh, technology to, to, to see wh- how the typhoon would have developed if the world was cooler. So, could it, would it be safe to say na kung yung pepito nangyari 40 years ago, where when um, the world was one and a half degrees cooler, it would have been less destructive, less intense? Yeah, I, I'd say yes. Uh, so, tulad na nun na banggit ko, diba? Pepito... Uh, nag-intensify siya uh, over actually not so warm water but but yung, sin- yung sinasabi ko not so warm is uh, still warmer mm. compared to say 40 years ago so definitely ako uh, nangyari siya 40 years ago maybe yung intensification and the peak intensity niya would be would be less Okay, let's bring up yung slide 6 and 7 uh, in the slides of Doc Jerry. And maybe, Doc Jerry, again, you could explain to us what we're seeing on screen and explain the study. This is the pseudo uh, global warming study that you did. You compared several storms so that we're all experienced in the Philippines. So, ano naman po yung study na to? What does it say about um, our storms today? Yeah, so obviously we are impacted a lot by tropical cyclones. And uh Ano yun, naturally, kasi nandito tayo sa location we're in, we're diba, on the path ng pagbuo ng mga bagyo. No? Um, so, dito sa figure na to, we're looking at uh, different months ng sea surface temperature uh, in the future. So, mid-future is around 2050, 2060, 2070, and the past. So, when we say past, that's around 30 years ago. So, uh, from the figure, makikita agad na yung future na ina-expect natin yung patutunguhan ng sea surface temperature would be warmer compared to what we have now. So even though I'm, mm. I kept on saying na mainit ngayon, mainit ngayon, uh, we're still expecting some increases, uh, future increases of sea surface temperature. Uh, especially the next 30 years, uh, yung increase mm. na naranas, naranasan natin in the past 30 years Compared to the next 30 years, mas maliit yung past 30 years. So we're expecting that the heating would accelerate. Uh, on the other hand, the uh, right side of the screen yung mga blue naman. This is for mm. different months kasi uh, different months, iba-iba naman talaga yung distribution ng heat ng ocean natin. Uh, no? So yun nga, yung, yung past 30 years, uh, 30 years ago, uh, definitely was cooler compared to the SSC that we have now or sea surface temperature. Um, so, uh, using the same concept na si Ulysses binalik 40 years ago, ngayon naman dito sa pseudo-global warming experiment, uh, we took the most devastating uh, tropical cyclones that we had in recent memory, no? si Yolanda, si Odette, uh, meron din kami kay Mangkot, uh, Mangkot is Ompong by the way. Uh, and uh, I forget yung ibang bagyo. Pero dinagay naman namin siya in 2050-2060. So mm-hmm. what are we expecting uh, yung mga tropical cyclones sa mabubuo 30 years from now? Uh, Ganon din. Uh, so just like yung from the past to now, it strengthened, intensified. Yung from now naman, if we're going to look at uh, what will happen to these tropical cyclones, if they were to happen again, and uh, for sure, may similar na tropical cycle na mangyayari at mangyayari talaga. Uh, they will become more intense. They are now uh, prone to rapid intensification. Um, tapos yung faster rate of intensification. This is a problem kasi most of the time, yung in- rapid intensification, hindi siya kayang mahula. Mahula, not hula. Pero hindi siya kaya ma-predict ng models. Mm. Yun, yung, yun yung limitation ngayon ng mga models natin. It's a rapid rapid intensification. Also, the peak intensity would be a little bit higher for some tropical cyclones like Yolanda mm. kung magyari siya ulit. So, di ba, yung kung akala natin si Yolanda ay napakalakas na uh, six more than 6,000 people perish. So, we can expect na kung meron ganitong similar similar you know, uh, tropical cyclone in the future, uh, the environment would be even better for the tropical cyclone mm-hmm. to intensify and we may expect stronger tropical cyclones. 